Certainly when you see someone on TV or you have someone in your life that you identify with, you say, oh, if she can do that, I can do that too. If girls aren't exposed to computer science in middle school or at least by high school, they're very unlikely to take computer science in college. It's not a situation where you can just go yell at the companies and say, you have to hire more women. It's like, well, we have to find more women who want to work in these jobs. Girls Who Code is a national nonprofit focused on closing the gender gap in technology. And we're trying to say, hey, a computer scientist isn't necessarily who you thought it was. We need to be able to show these girls that what computer science is, what they can do in it, and that it's something that they can do too. You wear the HoloLens, it scans your environment, and then you say, here's the four corners I'm interested in painting. Sally is a very exceptional person because she came into a very male-dominated career. I feel as a woman, I bring something different to the table. I consider myself to be very fortunately placed at the forefront of a lot of emerging tech. I think that it's important that the people who create those products represent the world we live in. I would tell a young woman today who is applying to work in this industry to not give up and not get discouraged. I've been in the classrooms and been the only girl. I've been on teams and been the only girl. And I know that diverse teams create better products. I know that we can create better technology with more diverse teams. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.